Look, why should we tell you anything? Because maybe, just maybe, you might be in time to stop a disaster. We're controlling the power grid now. Every time we lock off one power source, they switch to another. No, he won't. Goodbye, Gregory. personnel are required to operate the reactors here at this nuclear plant. That's because, like our traffic lights and telephone systems, the entire installation is run by one of the most sophisticated computers available. Temperature gradient's on six, will you? It looks a little hot. This is one of your screw-around calibration loops, Jerry. Damn. Computer isn't responding. I can't get criticality below 1.14. Crash it, Jerry. Insert the shutdown rods. Come on, respond, you bastard. The program is simply a set of logical instructions. You've got to think logically. I'll try again. Sir, I think uh, there's a mistake in this question. I I've run it three times, and I think there's a problem in this bit here. That's right. Your answer was wrong. It's not my answer, sir. It's your program. See. You forgot to initialize the index variable at the beginning of this loop. I stand corrected. Well, 
Now that you've solved our little problem, why don't you try to help Jessica? Try moving the cursor here. hear what wasn't in Sam's report. Go ahead, Sam. Someone's perverted the Calx 345's program. What's the Calx 345? That's our most sophisticated model. We've only built three of them. One handles the electronic funds transfer system in Ottawa. Another one babysits the NORAD network. And the uh, Meadow Point plant is the third one. Right. But not just the nuclear facility. The 345 regulates a power grid that covers eastern Canada and the U.S. Sam, get to the point. This is the point. Access to that 345 is protected by a 25-digit code. The probability of cracking it is 10 to the 72nd power. 10 to the 72nd? 10 to the 72nd power. Now, that is more than every drop of water in every ocean. 10 to the 72nd power is more than every single atom on this planet. So the impossible's happened. Who would want to take over a power plant and why? Maybe an ex-employee with an axe to grind? Maybe some hotshot anti-nuke programmer? That's just what those protesters want. If our computer can be violated, we can kiss 30 years of atomic development goodbye. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm a disaster. I guess you've noticed. No, you just need more practice. So, are you going to play? No. Thanks for helping me today. Oh, it's okay. I sort of have to. <laughs> Gregory Burgess? Gregory? Only computers call me that. That's 674 plus tax, 722? He never even ordered. I phoned their computer. Can you avoid the rush? I wonder if they deliver. Yeah, they do. Why? When my parents see my calm sci mark, I'll be grounded for a month. Jessica, if you want me to, maybe I can help you. Okay. Do you really think you could? Yeah, I do. When? Well, right now. What time do you have to be here? I'm okay till 10. Let's go. How did you get so good at computers, anyway? Oh, I don't know. 
just came really easily to me, I guess. I started doing the practice programs in Computer Magazine's Bytes, Computer World. I'll give you some you can do at home. You like them, they're not that difficult. There's one I remember. Look, no way I'm going to get this. I don't even understand simple programs. Nicholas? Jessica? 455556AS. Those are my marks! Computer Science Huntley 38. Oh, well, 72. <gasps> Maybe we better take a peek at the rest of them. And now, for a high 70s in history, when was the Battle of Hastings? Oh! Oh! oh. Not Hastings, please. Anything but Hastings. I can't believe you asked that. I can't believe it. 1066. How did you manage to get only a 38? 414-1066. My mother's office number. <laughs> Look, we're not going to get away with this. Someone's going to find out. I don't know. No fingerprints. Let's get out of here. Come on. Come on, have to quit fooling around. Let's go. 